Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're looking at why you see different options when trying to unstage a file sometimes. Sometimes you'll get the, it'll, it'll recommend you do git rm, uh, and sometimes it will say do git restore. So why is that difference? Well, we're gonna jump in here with visual git uh, and get a much better idea of what is going on. Uh, before we do that, if you find yourself enjoying the video, feel free to click subscribe below. You'll get updates for future videos. All right, I'm just gonna initialize a repo here and I'll kick off visual git to look at that. So we'll get um, get the internals down here. So there's nothing in there at the moment, just a head pointer pointing nowhere. Um, let's add a file. Let's do file one. Let's just put the text file one into file one.txt. And if I just try and move this around a little bit so we can see it. Um, I had the tree there, and that should be good. Let's see. All right, yeah, let me just refresh it and then go back down. Cool. Okay. So we can see at the moment uh, in our working area, we've got file1.txt. So that's our file here. Um, now, if I do a git add, we should see it appear in the staging area here as well. So do that. Right, so it's in the index staging area and it's also added into the repo, but nothing points to it yet. It's just a blob there. Um, right, let's have a look at git status. So on a blank repo, if you add a file into the staging area with git add, to take it back out, to unstage it, it says git rm dash dash cached. Um, so this is one of the options it gives you. This will only occur on on the first tie, on the first um, commit before you've done any commits on your repo because this this literally removes it from the staging area. Um, and, and the other option utilizes the head pointer, the git restore utilizes the head pointer. At the moment, head doesn't point anywhere, so it can't. we can't do a git restore. We've got to do a git remove cached. So let's see that one in action anyway. So if we do a git remove cached, it's going to take it out of the staging area. You can see at the moment, once I run this, it will come out of the staging area. And it will leave us in a, in a nice position. We'll, if we look at git status, it's just gone back to being an untracked file. So, you know, it's it's in our folder, it's not in the staging area, and it's essentially not in the repo. Although the blob is there, nothing's pointing to it, so it doesn't it can't see that it exists in the repo. So it's in a in a good position again. So with no commits to unstage, you need you need to do a git rm cached. If we did um, git restore. It's not, it's not going to do anything because it's going to try and match it to the head and the head doesn't point anywhere. It just won't work. Um, we, could have a, we could have a look at that. If I, if I add it back in, so you should see it appear in here now. And then if I did, so if I look at git status, it's saying use git remove cached. What if I did, no, what if I did a git restore um, file one.txt? Oops, git restore it needs to be dash dash staged. Git restore dash dash staged file one.txt. So, yeah, it's going to say could not resolve head. So, the restore requires head. That's so that why that's why at the moment. In this repo, that option isn't there to unstage for us. And we've got to do, let's bring it back up again. We've got to do git remove dash dash cached. So let's do that one again. Git remove dash dash cached. We'll take it out of the staging area here. And we'll be back to untracked file, file1.txt, which is a good, you know, a, a clean, clean place to be. All right. Now, Let's commit this file so we've got a head pointer and then we can see that that changes. So let's do git, um, git add again to get it into the staging area. And we'll just do an initial there. Now what we should see, 
I'm just going to move the working area over there because we don't. Yeah, I'll try and fit them all in. Okay, so we've got the head, branch, our commit, um, a tree. Can I get rid of the tree? A tree. Okay, so now we've got um, we've got a commit in there. So if I add another file now, so in our folder we've got file one dot text. Let's do um, let's do file two. Put that into file two dot text. And now if I do a git add, we'll see it appear in our staging area. I'm just make this slightly bigger. Okay, so it's in the staging area. Now to unstage it now, if we look at git status, it's now saying git restore dash dash staged rather than git rm cached. And that's because A, it can use the head, and B, if we did git rm cached, it would it would not look quite how we'd expect. Um, so let's let's do what it says first. Let's do um, git restore dash dash staged file two. So this will essentially remove it from the staging area here. Um, and if we look in git status, oops, then we just got an untracked file, which is what we'd expect. That looks correct um, so what would happen if we actually did a git remove cached rather than what it's saying to do um, so let's add it again so we'll see it appear in the staging area here and do a cls uh, let's let's look so it's saying do git restore if i do git remove dash dash cached of file two what will happen this time it's going to take it out of the staging area still and it's going to be untracked so in actuality it is okay on this file to do that um, but the problem arises when you do it on a file that is actually in there so in order to be consistent, it's just saying do git restore because it's going to be safe for everything. Um, because when I when I update file one this time, we're going to see something different. Um, I'm just going to del file two just so it's it's a bit clear cleaner there. And now let's let's make a change into file two. So let's add something more into sorry into file one that's what we've got in the repo now it's modified that's fine yeah so if I do a git add now then we can see it's updated the staging area it's got that more text in there now to unstage this it's saying git restore dash dash staged and that would again get us back to that um, get us back to um, well, let's run it. Let's run it so we can see. Git restore dash dash staged file two. Sorry, file one. And if we look at the status, we can see it comes back to modified, which is what we'd want. We've modified it. We want to see it modified. Okay, let's add it again. It's going to come back add the uh, more text into the staging area here. Now, again, it's saying do git restore. What happens if we do a git rm cached this time? Well, git remove cached file one. It's gonna end up not looking so nice. It's gonna remove it from the staging area here. Um, problem is, it's, it's in the repo. Um, so if I don't get status, it doesn't say um, modified anymore. It says deleted because we've actually removed it from the staging area. Whereas in this case, 
we don't want to actually remove it from the stage here. We want to unstage the change. We wanted to see file one still in there, but with just file one text rather than file one or more. So to to unstage, you can't do a remove from the index. You've got to restore it because what the restore will do is take this and put that back into the staging area for you. Um, so that is the difference. And that is why you're going to see these two different options, depending on whether you've got any commits in your repo or not. All right, there you go. I hope that was interesting. Um, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if not. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Bye.